my dad's a, a hardcore uh, Christian. I love, I love him, but he gets really angry when they do dirty material. He gets really upset. Stop that! <laughs> Stop talking about this one. <laughs> God will get mad at you. <laughs> That's my dad's favorite saying. God will get mad at you. <laughs> one day they'll be talking bull crap on the streets. <laughs> talking about this one. <laughs> and the clouds will open, a giant fist will come and punch you in the face. <laughs> Usually at this time I'm overseas, I go across, the, I, I go around 30 countries a year and uh, first time I went to Asia five years ago, I'm Asian, should go, right? Not what I thought, we'd totally been lied to in America. First country I went to Asia was Korea, guess what guys, no Korean barbecue buffets anywhere. <laughs> I'm like, this is bull, I'm going to South Korea. Um, <laughs> Next country I went to was China. Check this out, no fortune cookies in China. It was invented in the 1800s in San Francisco. I was like, where's my fortune cookie? What's that? It's a cookie with a note inside that tells your future. Oh, you gotta get diabetes. You've been here three times this week. <laughs> then I went to India, my favorite place. Love Mumbai, no 7-Elevens. I'm like, this is weird. <laughs> You know, in Japan, it takes you 10 years to become a professional sushi chef. That's a long time learning to cook something that doesn't need to be cooked in the first place. <laughs> Isn't sushi finished before you catch the fish? I think originally sushi was the Japanese word for uh, stove not working. <laughs> I'm happy you guys laughed at that joke. Right? You're not as PC. I'm from Canada. They're really PC out there. That's where all the Karens came from. And um, <laughs> this one lady was like, that was racist again. Japanese people. I'm like, why? Because you did their accent. I'm like, look, man, I did that joke in Japan. They love the joke. They didn't get it, but they're all like, oh, you sound exactly like us. <laughs> look, I'm not being racist. I'm being racial. Let me just tell you right that, okay? There's a big difference, and let's, let's understand this. When you're racist, you're there to hurt the other culture on purpose. When you're racial, you're racist, but you pretend you're not. So, <laughs> now, the truth is, if I do a joke about another race, I do it in front of that race. If they like it, I keep it. If they don't like it, I don't do it. But if they like it and say I can't do it, I say, shut up, it's your fault, you laughed. <laughs> gray area and we all have to know what the gray area is. We all have people in our family and friends of different cultures, religions, and backgrounds. We love them like family and the way you joke around is the way you joke around. That's nobody's business. And if people want to come in and say, you go, you don't know us, get the heck out of our racial party, right? Because, you know, it's true. Some people make you feel bad. You ever feel bad? You're like, oh my gosh, I think that was racist. You do the little joke to fix it? Oh my gosh, I think that was even more racist. <laughs> I met this guy named Yoshi. I'm like, Yoshi, where are you from? Japan. Real Japan? Okinawa, Japan. Like Ninja Japan? Why are you saying Ninja? <laughs> and I said, sorry. And I bowed. I'm like, why do you do that? <laughs> why you bow like that? That's what you guys do. He's like, no, no, no. Very casual, like this. Hey, like the opposite of your what's up. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Please download the Drybar app. Use promo code RonJostle.